हेलो एवरीवन, आई एम बालाजी राव वेलकम टू बी आर मैक्स क्लास टिल नाउ वी कंप्लीटेड टू एक्सरसाइजेस इन सेट्स चैप्टर फर्स्ट वी विल लर्न थीरी पार्ट रिलेटेड टू थर्ड एक्सरसाइज इन दिस मेन पॉइंट्स आर सबसेट डेफिनेशन यू ऑलरेडी लर्न दिस डेफिनेशन इन सेकंड एक्सरसाइज बट मोस्ट ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम्स बेस्ड ऑन सबसेट आर देयर इन थर्ड एक्सरसाइज सो इन द बिगिनिंग वी विल लर्न what is the definition of subset after that we will learn what is power set and we will learn universal set definition many students confused to understand the definition of universal set please spend some time to understand what is universal set after that we will learn about intervals intervals are the things which we use very frequently in functions chapter please spend time to understand intervals so after that we will complete all exercise number 1.3 problems in this video without much delay let's begin the class we will learn the definition of subset few examples to understand subset and five important points related to subset first we will try to understand what is the definition of a subset let a comma b are any two sets you consider two sets a and b if all the elements present in set a that means every element present in set a are present in set b all the elements present in set a are present in set b then a is called subset of which is denoted by a is subset of b we'll try to understand this with example You observe here I consider a set A is equal to 1 2 3 now I'll try to write all the subsets of A uh, I'll consider a set like this you observe all the elements present in this set are present in A yes this set contains one element that is 1 that element is there in this set yes so this A1 is subset of A Similarly you observe this set A2 all the elements present in this set are present in A yes so this is subset of A all the elements present in A3 are present in A yes so this is subset of A i'll write few more subsets of A you observe the set A4 this set contains two elements 1 2 all the elements present in this set are present in A yes So A4 is a subset of A. Yes, A4 is subset of A. Here, few important points you need to observe. Empty set is treated as subset of every set. You observe here this set. This is the empty set. Is empty set is subset of A? Yes. We say that empty set is subset of every set. You need to remember this point. Empty set is subset of every set. Now I'll write one more. That is a eighth set you observe this set is it is a subset of a yes of course all the elements present in set a8 is present in set a so every set is subset to itself you observe here whatever the sets i written here all are subsets of a now we will learn important note related to subset first point you see whenever a is subset of b whenever a is subset of b then b is called superset of a you observe this a1 is subset of a yes the set a1 is subset of a here we say that a is superset of the set a1 i hope you understand if set a has m elements then number of subsets of a how many subsets we will get for set a we will get 2 power m subsets for set a you observe here how many elements present in this set three elements present how many subsets we will get 2 power m here m is 3 2 cube is what 2 cube is 8 so here how many subsets we got for set a we got eight subsets for set a so what is the second point related to subset if set a has m elements then number of subsets of a equal to 2 power m this is the important point you need to remember and it is important point empty set is subset of every set please keep this point in your mind empty set is subset of every set next point every set is subset to itself every set is subset to itself these two points you need to remember 
empty set is subset of every set and every set is subset to itself last note related to subset if a is subset of b and b is subset of c then which is written as we can write it as a is subset of b all the elements present in a are present in b all the elements present in b are present in c then directly we can write a is subset of c this can be understood very easily eighth synopsis is proper subset what is proper subset if a is subset of b and a is not equal to b then a is called proper subset of b which is denoted like this you observe here i am not writing like this generally subset means we will denote like this but i am strictly subset a is just the subset of b but a is not equal to b then a is called proper subset of b we will try to understand this with an example you observe the set s yes. the set s is 1 comma 2 now how many subsets we can write for set s this we learn in subset how many subsets we can write for set s as set s is having two elements number of subsets of set s is 2 square so here i written all the subsets of set s you observe is a1 is subset of this set we know that empty set is subset of every set is a1 is proper subset of s or not of course it is a subset of s and a1 is not equal to s so what we say here this is a proper subset okay you see this a2 a2 is subset of s or not yes a2 is a subset of s is a2 is same as s no so it is satisfying proper subset condition or not it is a proper subset it is a proper subset proper subset of what proper subset of yes it is a proper subset of yes yes it is a proper subset of yes and you see similarly this is also proper subset of yes and what about this a4 you observe this set is a4 is subset of s we know that every set is subset to itself so here a4 is subset of s because all the elements present in a4 are present in s is a4 is same as yes yes a4 is same as s but actually what is the definition of proper subset if a is a subset of b and a is not equal to b then a is called proper subset of b here the point is it is a subset of s but here the point these two are equal so a is not a proper subset it is not a proper subset now we will learn important note related to this proper subset you observe here if set a has m elements set a has m elements then number of proper subsets of a how many proper subsets will be there for set a the formula is 2 power m minus 1 you observe here this is the set s yes. for this how many proper subsets we got 1 2 3 3 proper subsets see here 2 square total number of subsets minus 1 2 square is 4 4 minus 1 is 3 so if set a has m elements how many proper subsets we'll get for set a 2 power m minus 1 cardinal number of a set what is meant by cardinal number of a set see here the number of distinct elements distinct elements means different elements present in the finite set present in the given finite set a is called cardinal number of set a which is denoted by n of a we'll try to understand this with an example you observe here i consider two finite sets what is the cardinal number of set a cardinal number of set a is denoted by n of a the number of distinct elements present in a finite set how many elements present in this set in this set three elements are present so n of a cardinal number of this set is 3 what is the cardinal number of set b how many elements present in this set b 1 2 3 4 5 total five elements are present so cardinal number of set b is 5 now tenth synopsis is equivalent sets you observe here it is equivalent sets equal sets is different equivalent sets are different what is meant by equivalent sets see here two finite sets a comma b are said to be equivalent if cardinal number of set a is same as cardinal number of set b we'll try to understand this with an example you observe the sets here a and b what is cardinal number of set a cardinal number of set a is 4 because 
फोर एलिमेंट्स प्रेजेंट इन सेट ए वॉट इज कॉर्डनल नंबर ऑफ सेट बी सेट बी कॉर्डनल नंबर इज फोर बिकॉज फोर एलिमेंट्स आर प्रेजेंट इन सेट बी एज कॉर्डनल नंबर ऑफ सेट ए इज सेम एज कॉर्डनल नंबर ऑफ सेट बी इफ कॉर्डनल नंबर ऑफ सेट ए इज सेम एज कॉर्डनल नंबर ऑफ सेट बी देन वी से दैट द सेट्स ए कामा बी आर इक्वल एंड सेट्स पावर सेट वॉट इज पावर सेट द सेट ऑफ All subsets of a given set A is called power set of A. You observe here all subsets of a given set A. All subsets of a given set A is called power set of A. Power set of A is denoted by P of A. We will try to understand this with an example. You observe here I considered a set which consists two elements one comma two. First I will write all the subsets of A. What are all the subsets of A? We know that empty set is subset of every set, and every set is subset to itself. These two are the subsets of A, and you can observe that this set is subset of A, and this is subset of A. I written all the subsets of A. What is the definition of power set? The set of the set. You observe here. I will write set. Try to understand. This is the set. The set of all subsets of A is called power set of A, which is denoted by P of A. I hope you understand. You observe here. If set A contains two elements, its power set contains four elements. So, if set A contains m elements, then number of elements in P of A equal to two power m. Suppose if set A is having three elements, then power set of A contains two power three. That means eight elements. I hope you understand power set. Now, twelfth synopsis is universal set. What is universal set? Universal set, a set which consists all sets are elements. Please try to understand. A set which consists all sets are elements under consideration is called universal set. Universal set is denoted by U. We'll try to understand this with an example. You observe here, four sets are there. Set A contains elements from one to nine. Set B three four six seven. Set C one nine seven six three two. Set D one two three four five six seven eight nine ten. You observe here. We consider four sets. Under this consideration, a set which consists all the elements or all the sets under consideration is known as universal set. Which set is known as universal set for given sets A B C D? We we'll Which set we treat it as universal set for these four sets? You can observe the set T. This is the set which consists all the elements under the consideration. You observe the set D. All the elements present in A are present in D. All the elements present in B are present in D. All the elements present in C are present in D. So what you identified? The set D consists all the elements under consideration. Therefore. D is the universal set in this consideration. Intervals plays important role in functions chapter. It is important you need to know about intervals. Intervals means it's not like a something in a, while watching movie you will get interval. It is not like that. These are the intervals on the number line. When it comes to intervals, total four types of intervals are there. You see, this is the first one. You observe this one. How to read this? We read it as closed interval a comma b. We read it as closed interval a comma b. How we will come to know that it is closed interval by seeing the bracket. If the bracket is like this, then we we'll, by seeing this we will say that it is a closed interval. If the bracket is like this, then we say that it is open interval. This is open interval. This is closed interval. Okay. What is this? How we read it as? We read it as closed interval a comma b. What it mean? Closed interval a comma b means what? Closed interval a comma b on the number line. What it mean? It means that closed interval a comma b contains all real numbers between a and b. Closed interval a comma b contains all real numbers between a and b, including both a and b. Here, as closed interval is there, that's why including both a and b. This is the definition. 
Closed interval a comma b means what? It means that it contains all real numbers between a and b including both a and b. What I written here same thing we can write in set builder form. You observe here this is closed interval a comma b. Closed interval a comma b means it contains all real numbers. X says that x is a real number. This contains all real numbers and you observe here a less than or equal to x less than or equal to b. What it mean? It means that x values are in between a and b as equality symbol is there here. Both a and b is included. However, we can understand this more clearly with an example. Somewhere you saw like this closed interval 1 comma 4. It means what? It means that it contains all real numbers between 1 and 4 as it is a closed interval both 1, 4 are included. You observe this interval on the number line. You see here 1 to 4. Look here 1 to 4. This closed interval 1 comma 4 contains all the numbers in between 1 and 4. As it is a <coughs> closed interval 1 is included, 4 is also included. Now my question is uh, closed interval uh, 1 comma 4. In this interval 3.4 is there? Yes or no? Yes. Closed interval 1 comma 4 contains 3.4 because 3.4 is somewhere here. All real numbers between 1 and 4 will be there in this interval. As it is a closed interval, 1 is also included, 4 is also included. I hope you are understanding. Now, in this interval, 1.234 is there. The number 1.234 is there in this interval, closed interval 1 comma 4. Yes, 1.234 is in between 1 and 4. Now the, my question is, in this interval 0 0.9 is there. In this interval 0 0.9 is there. Look here, 0 0.9 means somewhere around here you will get. No, 0 0.9 does not belong to this interval. So from now onwards, wherever we see this type of intervals like closed interval 1 comma 4, it means that it contains all real numbers between 1 comma 4. As it is a closed interval, both 1 and 4 is included. I will try to explain this with one more example. Here I uh, will take closed interval. Closed interval 0 comma 5 is there. Something given like this, closed interval 0 comma 4. How to represent this on the number line? Closed interval 0 comma 4. I am discussing about closed interval only. I said now total 4 types are there. So all the things we will discuss one after another. <coughs> okay. Now you observe uh, closed interval 0 comma 5. It means what? It contains all real numbers between 0 and 5. Okay. Between 0 and 5. Right. Between 0 and 5. I will mark all these things. Between 0 and 5. You see? whatever this uh, color is there that color part all real numbers all real numbers are there in this interval now you observe as it is a closed interval as it is a closed interval 0 is included 5 is also included so what i'll write here 0 is included now here i'll write a dark circle this dark circle indicates that 0 is a part of this interval and here 5 is also for here here for 5 also closed bracket is there so 5 is also included. I hope you understand what it meant by closed interval 0 comma 5. Closed interval 0 comma 5 means it contains all real numbers between 0 and 5 including both 0 as well as 5. Like that you can uh, we can discuss n number of intervals like closed interval minus 1 comma 100. What it mean? It means that how to read this by seeing the brackets we will read it as closed interval minus 1 comma 100. It contains all real numbers between minus 1 comma 100 and as it is a closed interval minus 1 is also included 100 is also included. So in intervals total four types are there you learn first type what is that closed interval a comma b now you know what is meant by closed interval a comma b now we'll move to second type see this this is the second interval what is this by seeing the brackets we can say that this is open interval a comma b open interval a comma b means what open interval a comma b contains all real numbers between a and b as it is a open interval 
excluding both a and b this is defined like that this interval is defined like that open interval a comma b contains all real numbers between a and b excluding both a and b now by seeing the question you can easily say you look here this is what interval this is closed interval a comma b how you can say that by seeing the brackets this is closed interval a comma b now what about this one by seeing the brackets we can say that this is open interval a comma b open interval a comma b means what it contains all real numbers between a and b excluding both a and b the same thing in interval form set builder form you see here this is open interval a comma b na the same thing in set builder form we can write like this this contains a number x what is that x x is a real number and it is in between a and b in between a and b you can observe here less than or equal to symbol is not given that means a and b are not included x values lies in between a and b you observe open interval a comma b means both a and b are excluded excluding both a and b you can understand this more clearly with an example you see here this is open interval 1 comma 4 na look here open interval 1 comma 4 contains all real numbers open interval 1 comma 4 contains all real numbers between 1 and 4 what about 1 4 you see here at 1 i written open circle this is not dark circle like this if i write dark circle like this 1 is included but you can see here it's a open circle space is there open circle means that one is not included you can look here open circle 4 is there that means 4 is not included i hope you understand open interval 1 comma 4 means it contains all real numbers between 1 and 4 but 1 is not included 4 is not included for example if i ask in this interval 2.3 is there or not in this interval 2.3 is there or not yes it is there in this interval 1 is there or not 1 is a part of this interval no 1 is not included so because it is open interval okay uh, 0 0.999 is there it is there in this interval no it is also not there in this interval now 3.99999 is this is number is there in this interval yes this number is there in this interval right except 4 it contains open interval 1 comma 4 contains all real numbers in between 1 and 4 so this number is there in this interval means yes now 4 is there in this interval no 4 is not in this interval i hope you understand this second one now we'll move to third one you see this how to read this you see here how to read this one side closed bracket is there one side open bracket is there right see look here this side closed bracket is there this side open bracket is there how to read this we read it as the interval closed a open b listen carefully how we read it as we read it as the interval closed a open b what it mean it contains all real numbers between a and b including a and excluding b including a and excluding b you please observe here including a why we are including a because for a side closed interval is there when closed bracket is there then a is included excluding b when open bracket is there that b is included by this time you can easily understand point number one how to read this the interval closed a open b what it contains it contains all real numbers between a and b including a and excluding b okay now the same thing if i want to write in a set builder form i can write like this this interval contains numbers x what is x x is a real number such that x value lies in between a and b you can observe as it is the closed a a is included a is included that's why here equality symbol is there b is excluded that's why we not written any equality symbol here b is excluded you come to this example how you read it as the interval closed one open four the interval closed one open four okay what it mean it contains all real numbers between one comma four one is included four is excluded you observe how to mark this on the number line you mark all the numbers in between one and four you look here all this part is present in this interval all this part is present in this interval 
as it is closed one one is included right here look here for four said this is open bracket is there no? that means that four is excluded that's why i written open circle here i hope you are understanding in this interval one is present or not as closed one is there yes one is present in this interval in this interval four is there or not no four is not in this interval because four is excluded in this interval 1.999 is there yes clearly this 1.999 is present in this interval i hope you understand this interval how to read this interval this is the interval closed a open b now last interval you observe this how to read this we read it as the interval open a closed b what it mean it contains all real numbers between a and b as for a open bracket is there so excluding a and including b i hope you are understanding the interval open a closed b contains all real numbers between a and b excluding a and including b okay you observe what is this the interval open a closed b what it contains it contains an element x what is x x is a real number what about that x x is in between a and b as it is open a a is excluded as it is closed b b is included you can understand this more clearly with this an example how to read this interval you make a habit of reading this interval how to read this interval we read it as the interval open one closed four okay the interval open one closed four contains all real numbers between one comma four and one is excluded and four is included in case you need to mark this on the number line you need to mark like this open interval one open the interval open one comma closed four will be like this in case if you want to mark the interval on the number line you will mark first you will mark all the numbers in between one and four as for one open bracket is there we will write open circle it indicates that one is not included one is excluded okay and here closed four is there that means four is included i hope you understand this interval for example in this interval one is there no one is not there in this interval uh, four is there yes four is present in this interval in this interval 4.1 is there in this interval 4.1 is there no 4.1 is not in this interval in this interval 10 is there 100 percent the 10 is not in this interval right in this interval 0 0.9999 is there in this interval no 0 0.999 is not in this interval i hope you learn about intervals very easily we use these intervals in set chapter as well as in functions chapter as well as in inequalities chapter i hope you understand about this intervals you observe this exercise number 1.3 in this exercise total you can see nine problems are there so let's see what is first problem what they are asking make the correct statement by filling the symbol subset not a subset in the blank spaces okay so let's move to the first question you see here in this question total seven bits are given okay you observe this first bit what we need to do you need to fill the suitable symbol in the blank spaces here with the subset or not subset you need to fill with a suitable symbol okay you see here in this set the element 2 is there is it present in this set yes the element 3 is present in this set is it present in this set yes it is there 4 is present in this set 4 is there in this set yes it is there what happened here all the elements present in this set are present in this set so what is the suitable symbol here subset is the suitable symbol we know the definition of subset if all the elements present in this set are present in this set then we say that this set is subset of this so here suitable symbol is subset now you see the second bit all the elements present in this set are present in this set or not you just check here a is the element present in this set that element a is there in this set yes or no a is not in this set 
so what i can say i can say that not a subset not a subset when we say subset all the elements present in this set must present in this set then only we say that this set is subset of this set here not a subset is the suitable symbol why because a is present in first set but a is not in second set i hope you understand this now come to the third bit this set is given in set builder form it's okay no problem x is a student of class 11 of your school in your school one section is there with class 11 okay class 11 section is there here in this set whoever the student will pick that student is from class 11 in this set whoever the student will pick that student is from class 11 okay you look here x is a student of your school here whoever the students are there they are from your school this person may be from class 11 this person may be class 12 this person may be class 10 right here uh, whoever present in this whoever present in this are present in this set or not if in in this set who are present a student of class 11 is present that student definitely belongs to your school only now so uh, whoever are there in class 11 definitely he is a student of your school so clearly we can say that here subset is the suitable symbol i hope you understand this so here suitable symbol is subset okay now come to this bit x is a circle in the plane x is a circle in the plane when it comes to circle different different radii will be there this is the circle of radius 1 unit this is the circle of radius 2 units this is the circle of radius 3 units like that circles with a different radii will present in first set this is the circle in a plane it may be of any radius so you try to understand in this set circle of radius 4 is there yes it is there it is a circle in a plane if it is a circle in a plane that presents to first set uh, circle of radius 10 units present in this first set yes present in this set so this set contains all the circles in that plane now you observe the second set x is a circle in the same plane with the radius 1 unit x is a circle in the same plane with the radius 1 unit here this is the circle which contains this is the set which contains circles with radius 1 unit only see here in this circle radius 1 unit this is the circle of radius 1 unit in this only the circles with radius 1 unit is present for example if you take this set in this set circle of radius 2 units is there in this set circle of radius 2 units is there yes it is present in this first set in this set circle of radius 2 units is present no it doesn't present because this set contains circles of radius 1 unit only so what i can say here i can say that not a subset this set is not a subset of this set i hope you understand best example is in this you consider circle of radius 2 units it is present in this circle radius of 2 units circle is present but same circle not present in this set that's why it is not a subset you observe this fifth bit x is a triangle in a plane this set contains all the triangles equilateral triangles scale and triangle different different triangles are present in this first set okay now uh, this set contains rectangles this set contains rectangles it is very clear that if i take one triangle from this if that triangle is present in this set this set is only contains rectangles this set contains only rectangles so here clearly we can say that not a subset is the suitable symbol you see here x is an equilateral triangle in a plane x is a equilateral triangle in a plane that means this set contains triangles which are equilateral all three sides are equal you see here x is a triangle in the same plane so here uh, this contains only equilateral triangles right what about this uh, this set this contains all triangles equilateral triangle scale and triangle scale and triangle all different different triangles are present in this now the point is whatever the element present in this set or present in this set or not that is the question here very simple thing here if i take one element in this set that is present in this or not okay 
here one equilateral triangle is there. That equilateral triangle present in this? Yes, this contains all the triangle. This contains equilateral triangles, this contains right angle triangle, this contains isosceles triangles, all the triangles are present in this. Clearly we can say that subset is the suitable symbol for this. Now you come to this one, x is an even natural number. Can you say what are even natural numbers? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, like that. These are all the even natural numbers. And you observe these are integers. What are integers? 0, plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2, plus or minus 3, like that. The point is all the elements present in first set are present in second set or not? Yes. In this 2 is there. 2 is present here? Yes. In this 4 is there. 4 is present here? Obviously. 6 is present in the second set? Yes. Clearly, we can say that this first set is subset of second set. So, suitable symbol is subset. I hope you understand this first question. You observe the second question, what they are asking. Examine whether the following statements are true or false. You can observe here also subset, not a subset symbols are there. And here belong symbol. We need to check whether the given statement is true or false. You see this first bit, this is the first bit. What they given in this first bit? Not a subset symbol is given here. We need to check whether it is true or false. When we say this set is subset of this set, if all the elements present in this set are present in this set, then subset will say. For example, A is present in this set. Is A is there here? Yes, A is present here. B is present in this set. Is B is present in this set? Yes. So, this set is subset of this set. But, what they given here? Not a subset they given. But, the suitable symbol is subset. Here, if they give subset, then it is true. Actually, they given not a subset. Na? So, that's why this statement is false. When they give, it is subset. When they give here only subset, then this is true. Right? Okay. Now, you come to second bit. This set contains two elements, A comma E. And second set is given in set builder form. Second set is given in set builder form. Okay. Uh, X is a oval in English alphabet. If I write the second set in uh, roster form, what are the ovals in English alphabet? A, E, I, O, U. Okay. So, the this set gives this meaning. Okay. Now, you observe all the elements present in this set are present in this set. In this A, E are there. In this also A, E are there. That means that this set is a subset of this set. Here, what symbol given? Subset is given. So, what we can say here? Yes. This statement is true. I hope you understand. In this set, two elements are there, A comma E. Those two elements present in this set also. All the elements present in this set are present in this set. That's why subset symbol is suitable. That's why this statement is true. Now again, subset symbol is there. Now you just check that all the elements present in this set are present in this set. You just check. Here, two is the element present in this set. 2 is present in this set? No. So, what is the suitable symbol? Not a subset is the suitable symbol actually. Because all the elements present in this set are not present in this set. I am saying all the elements. Okay. Here, 2 is present in this set, but 2 is not in this set. Because of that reason, not a subset is the suitable symbol. But they given subset. So, this statement is false. Actually, not a subset is the suitable symbol. Okay, come to this uh, fourth bit. This is the singleton set which contains only one element A. Okay, you observe this set contains three elements. All the elements present in this set are present in this set, yes or no. All the elements present in this set are present in this set, yes or no. Here, in this set, A is there. A is present in this set? Yes, A is present in this set. So, here, subset is the suitable symbol. So, here, subset given. So, what I can write? I can write here, this statement is true. 
I hope you are understanding. Now come to this one. This is singleton set. It contains one element. Here belong symbol given. When belong symbol given, many students confuse us here. Uh, here A is there, here also A is there. That's why this is true. No, not like that. Suppose if this set is given like this. A, B, C, A. If they give like this. Now in this four elements are there. A, B, C, singleton set A. If this set is given like this, then this statement is true. Actually, what is the correct symbol? Subset is the correct symbol. You see, above one, subset is the correct symbol and we written true. Belongs is the wrong here. Be belongs is wrong. Actually, this statement is false. This statement is false. When this statement is correct, this statement is correct. When this is given like this, A, B, C, if they give like this, if they give like this, then we can say that this is as an element present in this. Then this is correct. But this set is not like that. So I hope you understand. For this, what is the suitable symbol? Suitable symbol is subset. But they given belongs. That's why this is false. Okay. Now come to this last one. X is even natural number less than 6. X is even natural number less than 6. I'll write this set in uh, roster form so that we can easily understand what are even natural numbers less than 6. 2 is the even natural number less than 6. 2 is natural number less than 6. 4 is even natural number less than 6. Any other less than 6 with their saying a 6 we cannot write. Now you need to check all the elements present in this set or present in this set or not. Second set contains what? X is a natural number which divides 36. You clearly check 2 is there in this second set or not. 2 is a natural number clear. 2 divides 36 or not? Yes, 2 divides 36. 2 into 18. Okay. 4 is a natural number or not? Yes, 4 is a natural number. 4 divides 36 or not? 4 nines are 36. Clearly, the elements 2 comma 4 present in second set. No need to write full roster form for this set. No need to write full roster form for this set. You just check that in this set 2 comma 4 are there. In this set also 2 comma 4 present or not. You just check that one. I hope you are understanding. So here clearly subset is a suitable symbol. So here this statement is true. Why? Because first set contains 2 comma 4. These two elements definitely present in the second set. That's why this statement is true. Now we'll move to next question. This is very very important. Observe this first set A. What is set A? Set A is like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 like this. I'll write here. Set A. What set A? First we need to discuss a few things. Later only we'll start the solution. Okay. Here set A is like this. First point. In this set A how many elements are there? Think and answer. In this set A how many elements are there? Uh, many students says that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 elements are there. That is wrong actually. In this set 5 elements are not there. What elements are there in this set? 1 is present in set A. Listen this carefully please. 1 is there in set A. 2 is there in set A. 3 is there in this set A. 3 does not belong to set A. 3 is not in set A. 4 is there in this set A. 4 is also not in set A. Please try to understand. 4 is not in set A. Okay. 5 is present in set A. Yes. 5 is present in set A. And the set 3 comma 4 belongs to set A. Here if I write what are the things present in set A. 1 is there in set A. 2 is there in set A. The set 3 comma 4 this present in set A and 5 present in set A. Now you tell me that how many elements present in this set? How many elements? Total 4 elements present in this set. First element, second element, third element, fourth element. First thing it must be clear that what elements present in set A, what elements does not present in set A. 
Now my question is, 3 is there in set A? Answer, 3 is there in set A? No, 3 does not belong to set A. I'll write here, 3 does not belong to set A. It is very clear. First of all, you must clear this point. 3 belongs to set A means it will be like this. 1, 2, 3, comma, set 3. It will be like this. But 3 is not in set A. At the same time, 4 is also not in set A. You need to know this information first to proceed further. Okay. Set A contains what element? Set A does not contain what elements. Many students confuse us that 3 is there in set A. But actually 3 is not in set A. 4 is also not in set A. But actually what is present here? The set 3 comma 4 present in set A. So first thing you understand that what are present in set A. Now what they are asking which of the following statements are incorrect? They are asking which of the following statements are incorrect and why? Okay. You see this one. This is incorrect or correct. You just observe. Uh, what they are saying here? They are saying that the set 3 comma 4 is subset of A. The set 3 comma 4 is subset of A. Please do not confuse. Listen carefully. When we say subset symbol, when we say subset symbol, all the elements present in this set are present in A. Then this set is called subset of this set. All the elements present in first set are present in A. Then first set is a subset of second set. Okay. In this set element 3 is there? Yes. In this set element 3 is there. The 3 is present in set A or not? Look here. 3 is not in set A. I hope you are understanding. So, subset symbol given means all the elements present in this set must present in A. Right? Here, 3 is present in this set, but 3 is not in set A. So, what I can write here, this statement is incorrect. This statement is incorrect. Okay? Why they are asking here? You look here, they are asking why incorrect. Why means because because 3 belongs to this set 3 comma 4 implies 3 does not belong to set A. That is the reason. That is the reason. Because of this reason we can say. Okay. Now come to this uh, second bit. What is the second bit? Here belong symbol is given. Please observe carefully. Belong symbol is given. This is the set set 3 comma 4 set 3 comma 4 set 3 comma 4 is present in set a you look here i already written what are present in set a set 3 comma 4 belongs to set a look here set 3 comma 4 belongs to set a as an element it present in set a so belongs is the suitable symbol here so what i will say the statement is correct or incorrect the statement is correct the statement is correct okay now we move on to next bit you please do not confuse. Just uh, go back and revise the things what I am saying for every bit. Okay. Now, see this one. Here what they given. Uh, here subset they given. First point. In this set, you observe the first bracket. In this set, how many elements are there? Only one element is there. That is set 3 comma 4. In this set, only one element is there. That is set 3 comma 4. Okay. Now, the set 3 comma 4 belongs to A or not? Yes, the set 3 comma 4 belongs to A. So, what I can say? All the elements present in this set are present in A. So, subset is the suitable symbol. I hope you are understanding. This contains only one element that is set 3 comma 4. That set 3 comma 4 present in A or not? Yes, set 3 comma 4 present in A. So this statement is correct or incorrect? This statement is correct. So this statement is correct. Okay. Now come to this one. 1 belongs to A. They are saying that the element 1 belongs to set A or not. You look here. 1 is present in set A. Na? I have also written here. Yes, 1 is present in set A. So, this statement is correct. 1 is there in set A. Okay. Now, 
observe this one one is subset of a actually subset symbol we use between two sets suppose a is one set b is one set we can write subset symbol a all the elements present in a are present in b then we can say that a is subset of b subset symbol is used between two sets here one belongs to a is correct but one subset of a is wrong because first thing this is not a set to use the subset symbol subset symbol uh, will be used between two sets only so what i can write here this is in this is incorrect I hope you are understanding. This is incorrect. One belongs to A is correct. One subset of A is incorrect. Okay. Now see this bit. Uh, one two five set one two five uh, subset of A. First, uh, I'll bring this data. What is uh, present in set A? What is not present in set A? So that we can easily discuss. Here subset symbol is there between two sets. Okay. Now the point is one is present in this. One is present in A. Yes. One is present in A. Two is present in this set. Two is present in A. Yes. Two is present in A. Five is present in this set. <coughs> is five is there in set A? Yes. Five is there in set A. All the elements present in this set are present in A or not? Yes. One is present in A. 2 is present in A, 5 is present in A. All the elements present in this set are present in A. So what I can say, I can say that this statement is correct. Right? Subset is suitable symbol here. Now look here, same, just to confuse you, they given like this. This is correct. What they given here? Belongs they given. Belongs. This is correct or incorrect? 100% this is incorrect. When this will be correct? If the set A is like this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, if they given like this, look here, last element, if they given like this, if they given like this, if they given like this, set A is like this, then it is correct. Right? You understand here, you see this one, set 3, 4 belongs to, uh, belongs to, look here, they, when they give like this, it is correct. Because, here the set 3 comma 4 present in set A, right? So here we can easily say that this is incorrect. This is incorrect. Subset is the suitable symbol. Belongs is not suitable symbol. When belongs is suitable symbol, when the set A contains an element like this, 1, 2, 5. If the set A contains an element like this, further 1, 2, something they given, they given like this. If they given like this, then it is correct. This element is not in set A. So this is incorrect. This is incorrect. I think they are asking why. Why? Why? This is incorrect because this is incorrect because uh, 1, 2, 5. The element set 1, 2, 5 does not belong to set A. That is the reason. Okay. Now you observe this one. This is one set. This is another set. Subset symbol is there. Subset means what? All the elements present in this set are present in A. Then we say that this set is subset of A. Here you see the element 3. 3 is present in this set. 3 is present in A. 3 is present in this set. Is 3 is there in set A? Look here. I written here. 3 does not belong to set A. In the beginning only we discussed. 3 does not belong to this set. All the elements present in this set are present in A or not? No. 3 is present in this set. 3 is not in A. So what is the uh, correct symbol here? Not a subset is the correct symbol. They given subset. So that means here this is incorrect statement. 3 belongs to this set. 1, 2, 3. But, but 3 does not belong to A. This is the reason. I hope you are understanding right now you observe here empty set belongs to a empty set belongs to a actually we know that empty set is subset of every set here empty set belongs they given here this is set a na? please observe this is set a na? in this empty set is there in this empty set is there in case if the question is like this in case if the set a in case if set a is like this one 2, set 3, comma 4, 
phi like this. If Satya is given like this, then this is correct. But Satya is not like that. Na. So what you can say? This is incorrect. This is incorrect. Why? Why this is incorrect? Because because the set phi is not in A. What are there in set A? What are not there in set A? We already written here. Phi belongs to A they written here. Phi because phi does not belong to set A. That is the reason. Okay. Look here. So many students confuse here. Please you try to I given clear explanation. You just revise it and just check it. Go back and check the video what points I am trying to say. Okay. Now look here. Uh, phi and a we know that in subset uh, we learn important point in subset we learn that empty set is a subset of every set we know that empty set is subset of every set so your subset symbol is there so this is correct or incorrect clearly this is correct statement okay now you observe this one now here you see this one this is singleton set this is singleton set. It contains only one element. What is that element? That element is phi. Now, uh, here subset symbol is given. Now. When this will be correct? Whatever the element, whatever the elements present in this set are present in A, then it is correct. This contains only one element, phi. Phi is there in set A. We already discussed here. Phi is not in set A. So what we can say? I can say that this is incorrect. Incorrect. Uh, when we use subset symbol, all the elements present in this set are present in A, then we say that subset is the suitable symbol. In this phi is there, but phi is not in set A. That's why this is incorrect. I hope you understand the second question. Many students, I observe that they feel difficult to understand this. I request you to uh, listen this video once, twice, thrice and then you will get an idea. If any doubts are there, you can chat with me in chat box, right? I hope you understand this third problem, okay? Now we'll move to fourth problem. Observe this fourth problem. What they are asking, write down all the subsets of the following sets. What they are asking, write down all the subsets of the following sets. We know one uh, definition. If set A has M elements, if set A has M elements, then number of subsets, number of subsets of set A is what? Number of subsets of set A is 2 power M. If set A contains M elements, number of subsets of set A is 2 power M. Okay. So here, uh, the point is, in you observe, write down all the subsets they are saying, na? Uh, this set contains only one element solution. This set contains only one element. Okay. How many subsets are possible for this set? This set contains only one element. Number of subsets is 2 power 1. 2 power 1 means 2. So how many subsets you will get for this? You will get two subsets for this. So uh, I'll write here. This is the bit they given. Na? So I'll write the number of uh, what they are asking, write down all the subsets. Uh, I'll name this as A so that it is easy for us to write. So uh, I'll name this as A. Okay. Let this as A. Let this set as A. A equal to like this. Now what I'll write, uh, number of subsets of A. Okay. Number of, no, all the subsets of A. Oh, okay. One thing I'll write number of subsets of A also. Number of number of subsets. They are not asking this, but I'm writing number of subsets of A. Set A contains how many elements? One element. How many subsets will be there? 2 power 1. If set A contains M elements, number of subsets is 2 power M. Here set A contains one element. Na? Number of subsets of A is 2 power 1. That equal to 2. So I'll write here. All subsets of A, are they are asking to write now, I'll write now. All subsets of A equal to, see, we know that for a set, empty set is subset of every set. In subset definition, we learn this, empty set is subset of every set. And 
every set is subset to itself every set is subset to itself you please try to understand empty set is subset of every set and every set is subset to itself is this is a subset of this set means yes it is a subset of that set because every set is subset to itself in the theory part you check this once so for this two subsets are there i written all two subsets you please observe the second bit i'll name it as b let b equal to like this a comma b in set b how many elements are there total two elements are there so number of subsets i'll write first okay uh, number of subsets of b number of subsets of b number of subsets of b set b contains how many elements set b contains two elements number of subsets of b is 2 power m that means 2 power 2 2 power 2 is what 4 so all subsets of b i need to write now how many subsets are there for set b four subsets are there you need to write all the subsets of b now i need to write all the subsets of b okay i need to write all the subsets of b okay total how many subsets are there four subsets are there two subsets you can easily write in that first one is empty set is a subset of every set so obviously empty set is a subset of b and we know that every set is subset to itself that means what set they given we can write that set this is subset to itself okay and one more thing here i can write single element sets you please observe this is the set which contains only one element a that a is present in this set yes a is present in this set so this is a subset of this set no doubt in that in the same way singleton set b you observe this contains only one element this uh, element present in this set yes all the elements present in this set are present in this set so this is a subset of this set so total how many subsets we got one two three four total four subsets are there all four subsets are written i hope you understand this now we'll move to third bit what is the third bit in third bit they given set one two three i'll name that set as c given set i'll take it as c one two three first point number of subsets of c number of subsets of c okay set c contains how many elements you observe set c contains how many elements set c contains three elements number of subsets of c formula 2 power 3 i am saying again and again if set c contains m elements number of subsets of c formula 2 power m okay 2 cube 2 cube is what 2 cube is 8 right so for this how many subsets you will get you will get eight subsets now you need to write all the subsets of c okay i need to write all the subsets of c total how many subsets i'll get total eight subsets i'll get okay first set empty set is subset of every set so empty set is subset of this set also now every set is subset to itself instead of writing one two three i can write c also look here i hope you are understanding the set c the set c itself is a subset okay or else you can write like this also every set is subset to itself now two subsets i already written i need to write another six subsets okay you can observe single element subsets the, if this set contains only one element that is one one is present in c or not yes so this a set is a subset of this set next i'll write like this two 2 is present in this set is 2 is present in c yes 2 is present in this set 2 is present in this so it is a subset next 3 3 is present in this set okay 3 is present in this set that 3 is present in set c yes 3 is present in set c similarly uh, total how many subsets you got here 1 2 total 5 we written another 3 subsets we need to write now 2 element subsets also we can write i'll write here set 1 comma 2 you see this set contains two elements 1 comma 2 1 comma 2 present in this set or not yes 1 comma 2 is over next 2 comma 3 next 1 comma 3 you can observe this is a subset of this because 2 comma 3 present in this 1 comma 3 present in this 1 comma 3 present in this set so 
this is subset of this set i hope you are understanding so total how many subsets you got one two three four five six seven eight okay you don't write like this three comma one is a subset these two are same any one is enough one comma three is a subset three comma one is another subset like that you don't count right one comma three three comma one both are equal so uh, any one is enough okay i hope you understand this now see the fourth bit what is the fourth bit they given empty set we need to write subsets of it okay fourth bit fourth bit i'll uh, take it as a d let given set as d okay first point number of subsets of d okay number of subsets of d the set d contains how many elements answer set d con set d contains how many elements here empty set na this set contains no element this set contains zero element okay number of subsets of d this is 2 power 0 because this set contains zero elements so right 2 power 0 is what 2 power 0 is 1 we know that 2 power 0 value is 1 so what we need to write now we need to write all the subsets of D, right? Okay. We need to write all the subsets of D. How many subsets we'll get? We'll get total one subset. What is that set? That set itself. We know that every set is subset to itself and empty set is also subset to itself. Here, luckily, that empty set is the every set. That means empty set is the given set. I hope you understand. For this set, how many subsets are there? Only one subset is there. What is that subset? That subset is empty set. I hope you understand this question number four. You observe this question. How many elements has P of A? P of A means, you know, power set. Power set. In uh, that theory part, we learned that if number of, if set A has M elements, if set A has M elements, Number of elements in P of A is 2 power M. Number of subsets is same as number of elements in P of A that we discussed in theory part. Okay. If set A has M elements, number of elements in P of A is 2 power M. Okay. Here, uh, what is the solution for this? Set A. What is set A? Set A is given as 5. 5 means empty set. That means which consists no element. Uh, 5 can be written like this in roster form. Now, in this, how many elements are there? In this, zero elements are there. So, what they are asking, how many elements P of A has? So, this implies number of elements in P of A. They are asking how many elements are there in set P of A. 2 power 0. 2 power 0 is 1. So, in case if you want me to write what is P of A. P of A is what? Set of all subsets of A set of all subsets of a like this you will get for this set we discussed in last bit also only one subset will be there for this set that is the set itself okay so this is p of a you can see here in p of a how many elements are there only one element is there however in this they are not asking this what they are asking how many elements has p of a p of a has only one element in case if you have doubt you just write p of a what is p of a all the subsets of a so it is, this set contains only one subset that we discussed in last bit also. You look here. This is the set. All the subsets of this set is only one subset will be there in this. Okay. I hope you understand fifth question. Now we will move to sixth question. Intervals. We discussed intervals now. Please go back and check what we learned in that intervals. Okay. Here write the following as intervals. You can see the interval given in set builder form. <coughs> the interval is given in set builder form. We need to write it as interval form. Very simple. Here what they are saying x is that x is a real number and minus 4 less than. We read it as strictly less than. Okay. Strictly less than x less than or equal to 6. Here if you want to write this in interval form. Very simple. Here, <coughs> strictly less than is there. When strictly less than is there, you write minus 4. When open interval. When strictly less than is there, you write open interval. And when less than or equal to is there, at the time, you write closed interval. 
like this. What is this? This contains all the real numbers between minus 4 comma 6. Minus 4 is excluded. 6 is included. Very simple man. When to write open bracket. When to write closer bracket. When strictly less than is there open bracket. When less than or equal to greater than or equal to is there at that time closer bracket. Okay. I hope you understand. You look here both sides strictly less than is there. So what I can write this as this as open interval minus 12 comma minus 10 both are open intervals because here also strictly less than is there here also strictly less than is there we discussed this in intervals please check that intervals form right intervals definitions and all okay you see here x says that x is a real number and they given that 0 less than or equal to x less than 7 so here simple thing 0 less than or equal to 0 we will write okay 0 will write 0 less than or equal to x x less than 7 x less than 7 here for 7 strictly less than symbol they given that's why this is open bracket i hope you understand this now come to the fourth bit here less than or equal to look here look in the question here less than or equal to is there here also less than or equal to is there yes can you answer this yes what is this closed interval 3 comma 4 closed interval 3 comma 4 in intervals we discussed these things more clearly right now we will move to next problem what is that write the following intervals in set builder form set builder form they given intervals look here they given they given intervals they given intervals what they are asking they are asking us to write in set builder form very simple see this is the first bit open interval minus 3 comma 4 how to write this into set builder form? You write like this. X says that X is a real number. X says that X is a real number. And X is a real number. And you can look here. Both sides open interval is there. So what I'll write? Minus 3 strictly less than X less than 0. That's it. This is over. This interval we written in set builder form. If they are given in set builder form, if they ask us to write in interval form, we will write like this. In last question, we did the same thing only. You can look here. They are given questions in set builder form. They are given questions in set builder form. We written in interval form. If they give in interval form, we will write in set builder form like this. It is very easy. Okay. Come to the second bit. <coughs> Closed interval 6, 12. Closed interval 6 comma 12 is there. How to write this? Very simple. First as usual procedure. Uh, I'll copy paste here. Okay. First as usual procedure. X says that X is a real number. And X is a real number. You look here. This is closed interval. Na? Closed interval means we will write less than or equal to. Here 6 is there. 6 is there. I'll write 6. 6 is less than or equal to. Here 12 is there that we will write 12 less than or equal to we need to write because this is closed interval because this is closed interval I hope you are understanding right right now we will move to this third bit third bit you see second bit third bit seems to be little uh, similar but uh, variation is there how to write this interval in set builder form x says that x is a real number you look here open interval is there open interval means strictly less than okay uh, here closed interval is there closed interval means less than or equal to you please observe the difference between this and this then you will get the clarity right so i hope you understand these are very easy bits very easy right okay now come to uh, this one last one uh, we need to write this in set builder form. Okay. We need to write this in set builder form. Okay. X says that X is a real number. And what is the interval given? How we read this? The interval closed minus 23 comma open 5. So closed interval is there for minus 23. So how you will write? Minus 23 less than or equal to less than or equal to 5. For 5 you can observe here open bracket is given for 5. So it is strictly less than 5. I hope you understand this. Right. So with this, uh, the intervals are written into set builder form. Please see this eighth question. What they are asking in eighth question. 
what universal set would you propose for each of the following you quickly recall the definition of universal set just go back and check the definition of universal set a set which consists all sets or all elements under the consideration a set which consists all the sets or all the elements under consideration is called universal set here what they given the set of right triangles right triangles means right angle triangles for this what is the universal set you will propose very simple i'll propose universal set like this the set of all triangles the set of all triangles i'll write the set of all triangles here all triangles means all comes equilateral triangle scalene triangle right angle triangle all are present in this set that's why i written set of all triangles now this set contains this set or not set of right triangles are present in this set or not this is set of all triangles all triangles means this set equilateral triangle is there in the set yes scalene triangle is there in the set yes isosceles triangle is there in the set yes isosceles right angle triangle is there in this yes this set contains all triangles my question is as i am proposing it as a universal set what i need to think this contains whatever the things we are discussing we are discussing here the set of right triangles set of right triangles are present in this set or not yes this is the set contains all the triangles as we are discussing right triangles right triangles also present in this set so this is the universal set we can propose this is the universal set okay come to the uh, second bit what is the second bit what they are asking in the second bit the set of isosceles triangles the set of isosceles triangles that is the given set for this also set of all triangles the set of all triangles is the universal set all triangles means in this everyone is there in this isosceles triangle is there equilateral triangle is there scalene triangle is there so this set what i proposed as a universal set the set contains this set or not yes obviously because i written set of all triangles so this is the universal set for this set please check the definition of universal set once okay please see this ninth question given the sets a they given some sets a b c like that three sets they given what they are asking which of the following may be considered as universal set for all the three sets a b c which of the following considered as universal set which of the following considered as universal set for all three sets a b c universal set means what the set which contains all sets under consideration you observe this is universal set or not i am checking this is universal when this will be universal set if it contains all the sets under consideration if this contains all the sets or all the elements under consideration you look here in this one first set 135 is there yes 135 are present in this second set 246 are there 246 present in this in third set 0 2 4 6 observe here in this third set 8 is there 8 is not in this set so this is not the universal set this first bit is not the universal set universal set is a set which contains all the sets or all the elements under consideration universal set means it is a set which contains all the elements or all the sets under consideration if i take this as a universal set you see 8 is present in this but 8 is not in this set so this is not a universal set now obviously empty set is not a universal set because here so many elements are there so this is not the universal set now come to this one 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 0 is there 0 uh, you see first 1 3 5 1 3 5 are there 1 3 5 yes 2 4 6 2 4 6 s yes. now 0 2 4 6 8 0 2 4 6 8 very good this is the set which contains all the sets under consideration see what is universal set a set which consists all the sets or all the elements under consideration here under consideration means these are the things we are considering 
whatever the universal set i am proposing that must contains all these elements or all these sets okay so this is the universal set i will propose that this is universal set this is universal set okay and what about this one is this a universal set or not you can see here zero is there in this set but zero is not in this zero is not in this so i cannot propose this as a universal set so here this third bit is there no? that is the universal set i hope you understand what is universal set with this third exercise theory is completed i hope you understand this thank you